Hey y'all, uh, no judgment. I just got done working out at 6.30 in the morning, but my kiddo needs some uh, diaper wipes for, or butt wipes I should say, for school. And this is the time of morning that I make this stuff. So I'm gonna walk you through what I do. You need a two cup or whatever um, glass container. It doesn't necessarily have to be glass, but that's what I use. Uh, lavender can be, um, I don't even know what I have here, bath and shower gel, it can be the lavender um, shampoo, it can be the Kid Sense shampoo or bath and body gel. Um, this is the coconut oil that I use, this is actually ingestible as well, um, but it's liquid coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil. Um, half a roll of paper towels, and then I like to use Gentle Baby and frankincense. Right now the only open bottle of frankincense that I have is frankincense vitality. It's the same um, it's the same formula per se. It's there's nothing different between this and, and the regular frankincense. Uh, you also need a one tablespoon. So the first thing that I do is I start out and I squeeze the paper towels together to loosen up that middle. Um, get my fingers in there and loosen that up so I can pull that middle piece right out there we go and then I'll grab the um, the center piece I put it in I used to use glass uh, but taking that to daycare is not a good idea so I use plastic and I just put that in and I set that aside for right now I'm gonna fill this up with two cups of water And I just use regular old water. I always start with the coconut oil because I feel like it greases up the, uh... oh no, I got something in my coconut oil, or not in my coconut oil, on my tablespoon. Great. Sorry guys, there we go. Okay, so then there's, um, I do two tablespoons of coconut oil. I feel like it lo lubes it up so then the, the uh, Shampoo here that I use doesn't stick to it as much. We do two tablespoons of this, whatever you decide to use. Clearly, I need more. Thank goodness my order is in and it's gonna be here in the next couple days. Oh, that little bugger. There we go. And then, oh, I forgot. I use this little whippy thing and I whip that all together. And then I add 10 drops of Gentle Baby. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't always add Frank, but I like the smell of it, so I put that in there and it's really good for the skin. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this, between this and the homemade um, butt cream that I use, that kid does not ever get diaper rash. And if it does, if he does, oh, sorry, here we go. So we're gonna, we're going to pour this over. What I do is I hold on to this and I make sure all the pieces on all the sides of the uh, paper towel get wet. I've tried it where I take um, the paper towel completely apart and just lay, and then I dump the rest over top and it, the paper towel seriously soaks up everything. So if you have water in the bottom like I do right now, oops, right here, I don't know if you can even see that, but anyway, the paper towel will soak it all up. And I have tried where you take the paper towels completely apart, lay it down, and then pour everything right on top, but I've found that it is almost impossible to pull the paper towels out one by one. So then we leave this, you pull from the center, um, one to two per, wipe is all or per uh, per dirty diaper is all you need I close her up and this is what we take so seriously doesn't take very long at all um, thanks for listening and hope uh, you're not paying attention to my mess in the background take care see you next time bye